Lileti Kumalo Biography Age, Skin Condition, Family Each generation witnesses the emergence of an individual, how transforms its perception of issues. Lileti Kumalo is one of these individuals. Her powerful performances both on and off the stage, have changed how South Africans view apartheid. What is more, her role in Yesterday transformed African perception about the HIV AIDS epidemic. Lileti Kumalo is a South African movie actor. Globally, she is renowned for her role in the movies Sarafina, Hotel Rwanda, Invictus, and Yesterday. Besides acting, Kumalo is also a radio show host and an accomplished musician. Despite having a career spanning several decades, Lileti continues to enthrall audiences worldwide. Profile Summary Name Lileti Kumalo Date of Birth 30th of March 1970 Place of Birth Kwamashu Township, Durban, South Africa Marital Status Married Children 3 Zodiac Aries Ethnicity African Nationality South African Profession Actor, Musician, Radio Presenter Lileti Kumalo Age As she was born on the 30th March 1970 Lileti Kumalo is 49 years old, as of 2019. Who is Lileti Kumalo married to now? Skithaza Winston Kanyal became Lileti Kumalo's husband in 2012. During her pregnancy, Lileti Kumalo babies were triplets, and a miscarriage resulted in the loss of one baby. However, Lileti Kumalo twins were born on 24 May 2013, and they survived. Lileti Kumalo children Lileti Kumalo's children are two with Skithazo and one from ex-husband, Jima. What happened to Lileti Kumalo's skin? She is a victim of the rare skin disease vitiligo. What is more, she has had it for several years now, affecting Lileti Kumalo's skin condition, especially her hands. But she has learned how to live with this condition by researching more about it. Throughout, she has remained committed to her responsibilities. Besides that, she takes part in publicizing this illness. Currently, Lileti Kumalo's house is in Kwamashu. Lileti Kumalo's career. From an early age, she wanted to pursue acting. She began her career in music and acting, when she joined a youth dance group, a Magica. During this time, Tunok mentored the budding actor. When she was 15 years old, her journey from obscurity to stardom began. The actor, musician, and playwright Mbanjeni Njima, while scouting for talent visited a garage, where her youth group was performing. After seeing her potential, he inquired whether she could feature in one of his plays. She replied, yes. Njima drafted her into his Sarafina cast, one of his musical productions. Since then, her career and personal life were never the same. Eventually, she became a global sensation and married Njima. At this point, it was like the two Njima and Lileti were meant for each other. Njima delighted in performance, and she was born a dancer and performer. However, marital stress led to a falling out of the two and culminating in divorce in 2005. Other notable movies she featured include Hotel Rwanda 2004, a historical drama documenting the Rwandan genocide of 1994. In the same year, she starred in Yesterday, a film about the struggles of a young, HIV-positive mother. Her role in the movie was instrumental, as it received rave reviews at the Toronto International Film Festival, and won an award in the Pune International Film Festival. What awards did Lileti Kumalo win? Her satisfactory performance off and on stage backed her several awards and nominations. Among them winning the NAACP Image Awards for Best Stage Actress 1987, followed by a Tony Awards nominations for Best Actress in a Musical 1988. Following the release of the film adaptation of Sarafina, she attained global recognition. In this movie, she co-starred alongside John Carney, Miriam McKeever, and Whoopi Goldberg. At that time, Sarafina was the biggest movie produced in Africa. Later, in 1993, Lileti Kumalo released her debut album Lileti and Sarafina, which she dedicated to the legendary boxer, Muhammad Ali. It was during the 90s that she gained most of her global prominence. 
For instance, she appeared in several of Njima's productions such as Magic at 4A, M 1993, Mama 1996, and the sequel Sarafina 2 1996. Liletti Kumalo. After the big screen. After shooting yesterday, she turned her focus to the small screen, where she featured in the TV show African Skies 1991. In 2005, she signed on as an actor in the famous South African soap opera Generations. In it, she portrayed Bu Siswomo, the sister of a power crazy entrepreneur. Generations were one of the most successful soap operas in the region then, and the longest running soap in South Africa. Although performing for TV provided her with new challenge, she never intended to make TV a long-term commitment. Even so, her joining the cast of this TV show demonstrates her versatility as an actor who can take on diverse acting roles. Indeed, beholding the actor transit into new parts was an enchanting experience for her doting fans across the globe. After exiting Generations, she became a radio presenter with FUA 103 FM, South Africa. In 2015, Liletti Kumalo joined the cast of Uzalo playing the role of Zanda Ondlech. Her role in this drama series marked her return to acting after a two-year hiatus during which she focused on raising her kids. Indeed, Liletti Kumalo's journey and career are fascinating, inspiring, and eye-opening. In it, we can learn the value of humility, diligence, and resilience in what one does. From humble beginnings, she rose to become one of the most sought-after South African actors and a global phenomenon. As a result, she received lots of invitations from various South African and international movie and TV producers besotted by her talents. Yeah.